Hey, and welcome to my channel where I experiment with different materials and techniques. In this video, I'm continuing the Viking Age inspired series and showing you how I made this tablet woven belt. Tablet weaving is a technique that uses tablets or cards to create narrow bands from yarn, and it dates back at least to the 8th century BCE in early Iron Age Europe. You can buy wooden tablets online, or you can just make your own cards from cardboard. In this video, I'm using 8 cards, but the number of cards is ultimately determined by the pattern itself. Assign each card a number, and mark the corners of the cards from A to D in the same order as shown here. For the holes in the corners, I used a leather punch. You will also need a shuttle, which in my case is just a paint steering stick that has slits in both ends, and some yarn. Pick one of the yarns and start wrapping it around the shuttle. This will be our weft yarn. Next, let's take a look at the pattern. Each colored square is one thread of yarn, so here we can see that we need 14 green, 6 gray, 8 yellow, and 4 black threads. I measured out around 10 feet or 3 meters of each needed thread and used a clip to secure them at the other end. Take a workable amount of the open end of the bundle and tape it to the work surface. Now let's take a look at the pattern and learn how to read it. The number at the top refers to the card, so grab card number 1. The column represents the holes in the card from A to D, and the letter S at the bottom means that the yarn should be threaded to the hole from the front of the card. So the first square is a yellow thread that goes to hole A from the front, the square below it is a green thread that goes through the hole B, and so on. Follow this logic with all cards up to card 4. For cards from 5 to 8, the logic is the same, but since the letter at the bottom is now Z instead of S, the pattern tells us to thread the yarn from the back side of the card instead. Once the cards have been threaded, tie the loose ends of yarn together. Next, tie a belt around your waist and slide it through the bundle to secure it and create tension on the threads. At this point, make sure that all the cards are aligned and that all of them have the same letters pointing up. The card should create a space between the yarns called shed. We start by placing the weft in this shed. Then we turn the cards away from us so that the letters move forward once. When you look at the shed from the side, you can see that we have created a twist in it. Take your shuttle and loop it through the newly created space and push that twist backwards to lock the weave in.
pull the shuttle and the weave with it through. Repeat this process again. Twist a card so that the letters move forward once, push the twist down and loop the shuttle through the shed. Keep doing this and soon you will see the pattern form. You can keep doing this but at some point your yarn will be very twisted and turning your cards forward gets more and more difficult because of the tension. You can flip the cards around their axis by turning them around sideways until you get rid of the tension and then continue turning the cards forward. Or you can do what I did and alternate with the card direction and start turning the cards towards yourself. This will create a mirror image of your pattern. By alternating the direction of your cards, you can get interesting patterns. Then, unfortunately, my footage got corrupted, but when I reached the desired length, I looped the end of the weft between two previous layers I had created and divided the yarns into almost equal amounts. I then braided them and made these aglets from crafting wire. And there you have it. I suggest experimenting with this pattern and trying out different yarn thicknesses as well. The thicker the yarn, the faster you can finish your work, but with thinner yarn you get more compact weaves and more defined patterns. Let me know if this video was clear enough, and don't forget to check out my other crafting videos as well. If you liked the video, leave a comment or subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching and happy crafting!